Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a what a match, what a match. Rovers have just ended the game up against Stoke with a 3-2 victory. 3-2 in the end. Um, in fact, we were cruising, absolutely cruising 3-0 uh, within the last, I don't know, uh, 75 minutes, 75 minutes gone. We were, it was in the bag. We were looking like it was a... a, 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 a Oh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gobsmacked with uh, with the performance. Because to be honest with you, that last 15 minutes was a calamity. Um, Stoke were all over us. Obviously, they're chasing the game, and when they got their their first goal from Barino, oh my good, it's just there's so much to, to to cram into such a such an action-packed game. Obviously, three nil up. Let's start from the beginning. Three nil up. Dak with the opener, of course, no question. Perla on a goal, nice one. Good team effort. Second one, big DG getting on the score sheet to make it two nil before the halftime whistle. Halftime whistle goes. You're thinking, all right, we're we're in, we're in cruise control here. Uh, just same again. Grind out, get, get the third goal, and it's and it's plain sailing. And that we did pretty much straight from the second half. Uh, Harrison Reed justified his start by getting a goal. Full start, goal. Awesome, three nil. Come on, boys and girls, nice and easy. But no, <laughs> things got things got tricky. Obviously, um, uh, Stoke making a lot of changes, substitutions, and all that kind of stuff. On, on comes Peter Crouch, causing a different kind of threat for the Rovers' defence. Uh, but the goal came from Berrinho. In fact, I was I was actually on my feet. You know, oh, this is a piece of cake. I was getting another cup of tea or another cup of coffee on the go. I actually missed that goal, uh, and that changed everything. That changed everything. Then Stoke really got themselves into it. Second goal. I don't even know who's got the second goal because I was still gobsmacked with the fact that we actually let in the first goal. Then, oh my goodness, in the dying moments of the game, Daryl Ennehan drags down a player, a Stoke player, in the box, and it's a big fat penalty. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. It's over. I just thought, and if we had walked away with this, with just one point, it would have been felt like an absolute calamity. But in the end, the penalty by Barinha was, I think it hit the bar, and it bounced eventually to safety, eventually cleared, and, and we could breathe again. But before, before that as well, there was another effort. I think Peter Crouch as well, getting involved in a bit of a scramble, and David Raya really got his... Uh, Deserved his, his wage this week because he, I don't know, he just got something on the ball. It looked destined to be a goal. So that could have been 3-3. The penalty could have been 4-3. Stoker uh, ended up, you know, with absolutely nothing. Uh, and it's and, 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 and ultimately, I think it, it, it's, a massive, it's a massive result. I'm not going to, there's no question about that. Obviously, 3-0, we look good. And I think at that point, we deserved the, you know, we, it, was a, it was a game that we completely controlled. We were the best of the business. But the last 15, 20 minutes was an absolute calamity. And we could have absolutely walked away with nothing. Um, and then uh, the Mowbray, the, the gaffer made some changes. Obviously, Dak had, had played a blinder uh, today, obviously, Getting involved in, in in one goal and then setting up another one, and Big DG was a, was another phenomenon. Those two guys coming in off and replaced by Adam Armstrong and, Bing, and Ben Brereton. And um, so far, I'm not impressed by Brereton. Um, I, I, I I you know he he, he to, to replace Danny Graham with with Ben Brereton. It's not. It's not been a good. It's not been a good start. I think for his Rovers career, and he nearly it, he won us a free kick in a valuable position, and in the end. From that resulting free kick, it resulted in... I think it might have even resulted in the play that got the penalty, maybe. I don't, I don't know, but... Um, yeah, he's... Uh, and, and I think we had a chance right at the death to get a fourth goal, which would have given my heart a lot of uh, rest and, you know, would have saved a lot of heartache. Um, and I think it was a... We, we had we were a great counter-attack, and I think it was either Rothwell or Armstrong to set up Ben Brereton. But the pass was so bad... That it ended up going pretty much straight to a Stoke player, and they could build once again. So, so, but bottom line, massive result, massive result. Despite despite the calamity of the last 15, 20 minutes of the game, where we we, we looked like we're gonna we, we're gonna wait, walk away with probably nothing. But it's 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 big. It's huge. It's a huge one for us. Stoke are gonna be up there. No no question. They have they have the Arsenal. They have the the, the capabilities to to beat anybody. Barinho trying to find goals. Uh, you know they do have uh, Crouch. If Bojan bring, bring Bojan on towards back in the game. A player who doesn't belong belong in the championship belongs in a higher level. So that and you know Shaw cross, cross Martins. They have all the Arsenal butling in between the sticks. So they're going to be up there. So to get a win, and we haven't won at Stoke since apparently since 1990. Um, so this one 
is huge. And to think that we, we've taken on Villa, to take it on Derby, now Stoke, and we've come out of that with five points is absolute bonkers. And I think that's a, it's an amazing haul. And we go again against Forest next, next weekend. And hopefully we can get some more points in there and then maybe just get ourselves in a good position within the league. Between that, we take on Bournemouth. Let's rotate the squad a little bit, Gaffer. Let's bring in, uh, let's bring in Palmer back in. Let's bring in, uh, give Brent Brereton a start if, if possible. I don't know if he's cup tied or not. But anyway, we need to rotate it. Give the guys like Bennett, Evans, Lenehan, all that boys and girls, give them a rest because uh, they need it. Because they and they, you know, Mowbray's probably livid right now. Absolutely livid because we were cruising three 0 and it was all plain sailing. But credit to Stoke for digging in. Obviously they. Um, you know they need, they were so close, so close, and they're going to be they're going to be a little bit pissed off that they couldn't uh, seal the deal. I don't think Barrino should have been the guy taking the penalty. I think if you're going to give it to it, maybe Joe Allen. I think he's more of a you know no nonsense kind of guy. Barrino is more of a you know show pony kind of thing. But anyway, credit where credit is due. Raya phenomenal towards back into the game. We shouldn't have been in that position at the end, three uh, two. We should have been cruising. Um, but all in all. Thank heavens we got the three points. I'll be back with a little bit more, uh, a little bit later on with a detailed review about this match. Maybe get some uh, words of wisdom from the gaffer, maybe some fan input from the old Stoke supporter, um, and also take a look at some of the old uh, heat maps and all that kind of good stuff. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a good old thumbs up. It's good for the old YouTube algorithm. Why am I not outside? Because there's hecky noise out there, uh, chainsaws and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, until I see you again, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. All things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.